Hello all, welcome to Learn Automotive. As said in my previous video, I have just listed you about how the ignition system in a car works when you turn on the key. In this video, I will just give you a detailed information about how the ignition system in a car works. So, I will just list out to you the important components in a car, in an ignition system in a car. The first one is the battery, then it is followed by the ignition coil, then it is followed by the distributor, rotor and the cylinders. So these are all the main components involved in a car's ignition system. So I will just give you an overview about in a car how the ignition system is working. So this is an IC engine and if you see that there are four different cylinders present in the IC engine. The main function of the cylinder is to perform the combustion process. In the combustion process there will be four different strokes that will be performed in an IC engine. The first one will be intake stroke, the second one will be compression stroke, the third one will be power stroke and the final one will be the exhaust stroke. So to perform this combustion process we need to ignite the air fuel mixture right. So the air fuel mixture that is present will be ignited by the spark plugs. So these are all the spark plugs that are present here. So these spark plugs receives the high voltage from the distributor coil which is present inside. And the distributor coil receives the high voltage from the secondary winding of the ignition coil. So we all know that for an information we can just say that to perform an ignition process we need a high voltage that voltage varies from around 40,000 volts to 1 lakh volts so to perform this step of performance that will be done by the secondary winding of the ignition coil and it reaches to the distributor coil as I said earlier from the distributor coil it reaches to the spark plug and from the spark plug it reaches to the cylinders so this is the sequential process that is occurring in the cast ignition system so i'll just give you a detailed explanation coming in the next video how it works now let's start with the cast ignition system and how it works so before that i just want to let you know the what are the strokes present in an ic engine how the combustion process takes up so in an ic engine there are four strokes the first one is intake stroke the second one is compression stroke the third one is power stroke and the final one is exhaust stroke so before that we just let you know the we we'll see the sequential process how the cast ignition system occurs. The first one is we will be getting the supply from the 12 volt battery. From the 12 volt battery, the supply will be going to the ignition coil. In the ignition coil, you can see that there are primary windings and the secondary windings. So the main purpose of this ignition coil is to step up the voltage that we get from the 12 volt battery because the voltage that we get from the 12 volt battery is not sufficient enough to carry out the ignition process. So in the, in the current flows to the primary windings and reaches to the secondary windings. As there are number of turns in the secondary windings, the step up process occurs and we get the required amount of voltage. For example, I can just tell you that the minimum required amount of voltage to start the ignition process for a car will be around 40,000 to 1 lakh volts. So this can be achieved by the secondary windings in the ignition coil. And from the ignition coil, this high voltage current just gets transformed to the distributor. In the distributor, you can just notice that there are four contact breakers present at each 90 degrees and there will be a rotor present in the center. So the distributor just distributes the current through the high voltage wire to each of the four cylinders present here. So the rotor, when it comes in contact with the first contact breaker, a current signal is triggered and it reaches to the first cylinder. So now you can see that there are four cylinders present here and during this initial state, you can see this four cylinders will be in four different strokes. The first one will be in the power stroke, the second one will be in the exhaust stroke, the third one will be in the compression stroke and the final one will be in the intake stroke. So for example, if you can see that the rotor when it comes in contact with the first contact breaker, high voltage current signal is triggered and this will be in the power stroke. So before that, I will just let you know the firing sequence in an IC engine. The firing sequence in the IC engine will be always 1, 3, 4, 2. So these are the overall firing sequence, I'll just explain you with that. So you see that these are the four cylinders and these are the four contact breakers. The first one, if you see that when the rotor comes in contact with the first contact breaker and the fire current signal is triggered and it reaches to the first cylinder. So here you can see that the first cylinder will be in the power stroke. When the rotor comes in contact with the third contact breaker here, 90 degree, a high voltage current signal is triggered and the, come, the signal reaches to the third cylinder. The third cylinder which was in previously compression stroke when the rotor was in contact with the first one when it reaches here high voltage current signal is triggered and from power stroke it comes to compression stroke it comes to the power stroke. And the same is carried out for all these cylinders. 
So when it comes in contact with each of the contact breaker, the current signal is triggered and the cylinders which are present in different strokes comes to the power stroke where the current signal is triggered here. So this is the main working process in the IC engine, the car ignition system of the IC engine. So I can just say you for an information that at least one cylinder engine will be in the power stroke when the ignition system is carried out so as to carry out the momentum of the engine and to carry out the balance in the IC engine. So nowadays we are just the modern day cars are just coming with the distributorless engine. So the main function of this distributorless engine is to reduce the space and to increase the and to increase any lags that is present without any lags. So this is the this is carried out mainly by the high voltage wires and the ECUs and the timely penetration is more efficient when compared to the distributor present engines. So the distributorless car ignition system are modern day trends. So this is the overall sequential process how the car ignition system works and uh, so with this we are getting I'm coming to the end of the video so i'll catch you in the next update stay tuned